Hi everyone, happy Friday. Um, so I thought I'd just do a quick video because, um, so as you all know, I do Avon, but I also do the, um, sell the magnetic lashes as well. So I just wanted to go through sort of what I've, what I've got on at the moment and, um, sort of my reviews of the products basically. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Avon stuff. So, um, just this campaign in September, we've had a whole new collection launch. Um, and that's collaborating with Lisa Armstrong, who is a um, sort of really well-known makeup artist. She does makeup on Strictly, um, which is what she's sort of best known for. Um, so she's launched a massive collection of products and um, I've got some of them here and I just wanted to sort of go through and review them um, and show you what they look like because they look like so nice. I love them. Um, so firstly... Um, I did start off with a non Lisa Armstrong product, but it's still Avon. So it's um it's a Mark eyeshadow palette, um and it's an eight in one wet and dry eyeshadow palette, um and you can see I'll show you the colours there. The brush has just dropped, um but I used the the sort of uh sort of grey blue dark kind of colour here, and then I used. So that was for the bottom bit of my la my eyelid, rather, and then the top bit I sort of did with this um, this creamy kind of colour. Um, I like to sort of use dark and then light and sort of blend it in, um, and that's how I've kind of achieved that. I'm not the best, but people compliment me on makeup, so what can I say? Um, I then used so the eyeliner. I have actually ordered the Lisa Armstrong. Um, tattoo eyeliner but actually it was out of stock when I ordered it it's now come um, but I'm, I'm using my lashes today so I've actually used the eyeliner out of my pack for the um, for the lashes so that's in there um, and then I have got on my I am powerful lashes um, and they used to be called Dallas they've now changed name so what's happening with our lashes is basically it's the same styles that we had previously. So um, they were Chicago, Dallas, LA and London, um, but they've actually got new brand names and new packaging. So if you are interested in the lashes, um, do drop me a message and I can go through kind of what the styles are and um, how much they are and, and all that sort of thing. Um, these ones, the I Am Powerful slash Dallas, they are the sort of my, the longest and the most sort of voluminous um, and I like wearing them when I'm sort of going out and things. Um, if you want sort of more natural ones, then um, we can we can sort of sort you out with those as well. Because um, as I say, there's different styles. So that was what I did with my lashes. Now, when I'm not wearing my lashes, then I use one of my Avon mascaras. Um, I use either Euphoric um, or our new Powerstay mascara. Um, so that's meant to be sort of... 24 hour waterproof volume mascara and it does actually do what it says on the tin it's very good um, and then also the last week I've been using Lisa Armstrong's um, Miraculous Mascara um, so it's actually called Miraculous Volume Mascara um, if you can see that um, and the brush I'll show you the brush so it's kind of fatter at the end and then thinner um, at this end and basically it means you can really sort of get into the corners of your eyes and get sort of every lash. Um, so I've been using that this week and I, I love it. Um, I then used um, the Lisa Armstrong Skin Visible Foundation. Um, so these come in a variety of shades. I went for shade 10 because um, it's kind of the lightest, the lightest one, I believe. And obviously I am quite pale and quite fair. So um, it basically has a little pump on the end, which is really cool. Um, and it comes out nicely. Um, so the coverage, as you can see, is pretty good. Um, I actually, before I put on the foundation, I used the Avon Magic's Smoothing Primer. Um, so this is available. There's also two other primers um, as well, depending on your skin type. This one is to give you more of a sort of matte finish. Um, so I used that first, then I put on the foundation. Um, and as you can see, it's blended in nicely. Um, sometimes I have trouble with kind of some foundations where they kind of just go a bit sort of, um, I don't know how to describe it, but they kind of go a bit sort of blotchy and, um, and shiny and things, but this one has actually gone on nicely. I then followed that up with the, um, Fix Up Look Sharp Setting Powder in Light. Um, so this comes in a nice compact, 
where it's new it's a bit it's been a bit tricky to open um i'm trying to get it open so i can show you guys anyway inside um oh there we go i've done it so inside you've got the powder on the top and then underneath you've got the little um sponge to apply now i use a brush to put mine on just to get it sort of a bit more sort of evenly over and i find sometimes with the sponges when i'm putting it on it kind of rubs the foundation off and things so that's why i use a brush that's what i prefer but yeah that's how it looks it's really really cute um and then next i did my brows so there's um in the Lisa Armstrong range again as well. There's um, Brow Down to me, it's called. Um, and I got it in shade Blonde, obviously. At one end, you've got the brush, so you can really kind of brush your brows down and, and shape them how you want. And then the other end is the pencil. Um, as you can see, it's kind of, it's worked really nicely. I tend to brush my brows before, then do the pencil and then brush them again. Um, so yeah, it's it's covered it and filled it in really nicely. So that is that. And then moving on to the lips, um, I've used the Lisa Armstrong um, Colour Within the Lines Lip Liner. Um, and this is in shade Gemma. Um, so it's a nice sort of, um, sort of pinky pinky colour. Um, now the nice thing about this is that all the lipsticks and lip liners are actually named after her friends. So I've got Gemma um, in the lip liner and then the matching lipstick is called Gemstar which is apparently sort of her nickname um, her nickname for her friend Gemma. Um, but I really like that she's kind of used her friends names in it. Um, so this is what the lipstick looks like. It's quite chunky. Um, but I really, really like it. I got it in the mat Matalicious, but they also do do it in satin. So that's the sort of more shiny lipstick. But I prefer matte lipsticks. It's really nice. It's got her little name on the top. Um, and that's kind of how it looks undone. When you um, actually go to put it back on, you'll notice that the actual lid is magnetic. So it kind of... Do you see that? It's really cool. Um, so I really like that. So yeah, that's the first time I've used that today because um, I've been kind of working a lot this week. So I don't do full face makeup when I go to work. I just do my eyes. So I posted a bit about some of the products that I used on my eyes the other day. Um, but I wanted to just give you a review of the sort of face, the face products um, in full. So all those products are available on my online store, um, which is avon.uk.com slash store slash stay fabulous beauty um, and you can order any of those products online um, for the lashes if you drop me a message i can give you some more information and um, give you the link to my online store for that as well um, but if you have any questions about any of it then do just get in contact i don't mind um, sort of answering any questions and um, i'm really happy with with my makeup today it's gone really well sometimes you know it, it's it's tricky kind of when you're using new products and trying them out but actually these products have all been fab um and they've gone on really nicely and i'm really happy with the the finished look um so yeah so i just thought i'd give a quick quick video and a quick sort of review of of the new products um and as i say if you would like to try any of them we do do samples of some of them the lisa armstrong range we don't have samples of you just have to buy the actual products but our other products um like um lipsticks perfumes um foundations uh even the skincare cream some of those you know we have samples so let me know if you if you want me to order you any of those as well just to try before you buy um but yeah that's it basically so hope you have a fab weekend and um i will speak to you all soon bye